What's up everybody, Justin Fio back with another video. Today, we actually are meeting up with the 7.3. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting to see some 7.3 content, so we're with my man, that green dually. It actually is a dually as well, so I'm super excited to check it out, but here it is. Welcome to the channel, by the way. Yeah, thanks for having me. No problem, man. So, here the baby is, definitely thick. Um, what exactly is done to it? What are your plans? Like, Oh, it's a... Um... It's a 99, it's an F350, dually, 7.3. Um, funny thing is, I wasn't looking for a dually in the beginning. I was looking more for, for an F250, but couldn't say no to the deal. When this one came across, it was a one owner truck. I knew the owner. Um, and ever since then, it just kind of, little by little, just came together. So I've had it for now about five years. Uh, basically, all it's got done to it is, suspension-wise, just a leveling kit, adjustable track bar from PMF, 22s, 35s. Um, the 22 by 12, right? Yeah, it's 22, 12 in the front. And then I got a spacer in the rear to space out uh, the back tires from Shifted Industries. Uh, diff covers from AFE front and rear. Uh, MLA Customs down in Naples made my traction bars. And, and for the most part, it's just been a lot of cosmetic stuff. Just you you said it, it does have turbo and injectors? or I do have uh, some injectors. They're from Swamps Diesel. Uh, I went with a 38R turbo as well, uh, adrenaline high pressure output on the H-pop, melting low pressure pump, typical intake exhaust. out here boys <laughs> this thing definitely looks badass for a 99 it's really clean like I don't know how well you guys could see on camera but this thing is beautiful and I did want to bring some 73 content to you guys because not only do I really love the trucks I know you guys do as well and to bring a dually to the channel it's definitely something a little bit different um, the front end it's is it converted to a newer style front end or front end is converted to an 05 um, had the grill, bumper, hood, all that I had uh, done by uh, Thomas King. He did the paint work for me. Um, hood was actually done by a buddy of mine, Nick Gephardt. And the headlights, that was all done by Retro Customs. So they went with color matching, full-on projectors, and the uh, switchback DRLs instead of LED bulbs. It looks really nice. Let's get, a, let's get a little bit more of a walk around here. And if the camera is a little bumpy, we're walking on some fat-ass rocks over here. So... Yep, these are just fuel mavericks. Yep. Now, I'm, when it comes to, to not going with the forged wheels, it's hard to find something that looks better than the Maverick when it comes to our dualies. So, I'm pretty happy with the way they look. Um, and allowing me to run a 35 just makes it easy to drive around because this is my daily. Yeah. Look at all that ass, though. And you were recently just showing me you got some of this painted, correct? This tailgate's from a 2010. 2010 tailgate's got the step camera. I recently just bought the platinum plaque. I had Thomas paint it black, color match, had the emblem done, and then I spent about a good day drilling holes in the tailgate to mount it. <laughs> yeah, I think I think it definitely looks good though. Let me know what you guys think. And overall, you've been since you've gotten the truck, you've been pretty happy with it. Um, Seven three wise, have you had any major issues? I've been happy with it as far as anything mechanical. Um, I mean, the truck does got a lot of miles on it. It's almost got 500,000 on it. Oh, wow. So things that I've done have kind of just been things that you expect over time. Yeah. Um, transmission finally went out, and that was the original transmission in the truck. So I went with diesel site, and I had them build me a transmission for it. Um, as far as the engine goes, it had a, it's 7.3. It had a pretty bad oil leak, so 
oil pan wasn't the greatest shape, so I went ahead, took the engine out, cleaned everything up, put it all back together, and other than that, I've driven to Texas and back, no issues. All reliable. Also, if you guys are interested in the build, give him a follow on the gram. Um, you mind if we open up the hood as well? Sure. So, like I said, basic bolt-ons for a 7.3, 38R intake, sinister up pipes, sinister plenum, um, adrenaline high pressure output. So, just basic stuff for the time being. Your goals with the truck and whatnot? Um, things I got left would be finishing up the interior, doing that uh, four captain chairs, full console, getting all that done. Um, and then after that, my main thing is just going to be changing out the setup I got underneath. So, like I mentioned, you know, I got the fuel system showing up soon, and then going with a whole different turbo setup, different injectors. So. And you said you did, you have had this on the dyno, correct? For what, what the, the setup dyno. now? Um, just to get an idea of what the kind of power it's making. Bolt ons will do. Yeah. With a decent tune. Um, torque wise, it was kind of what I was expected out of a 7.3, was 830 pounds of torque to the rear wheels. Um, horsepower wise, typical 7.3, 370 horsepower to the wheels. So. Damn. But definitely a badass truck for sure. Um, he's got a lot of plans for it. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys do have any questions, you can either hit me up, hit him up, ask it in the comments, whatever you would like. So overall, something a little bit different for you guys. And let me know what you guys think. And this is uh, a four inch exhaust? Four inch uh, MBRP turbo back, straight pipe, um, Anarchy off-road tip. That, that's kind of about it for the exhaust. And I know people are gonna be asking, so one, I see the nice AFE diff cover under there. Two, um, this bumper. bumper what, what's is, the story behind it? Bumper's from Body Armor. Um, I was really picky as far as running an aftermarket rear bumper just because I wasn't a big fan of everything that was out there. Um, theirs actually has a pretty nice, clean, tight finish to it. Um, put some reverse pods on it. And I've been pretty happy with it. it. Gives it a nice look in the back. Being a dually, I think it kind of helps tie it all in. For sure. Just to show on the dash, 479871. So almost half a million mile, 73, still kicking. That's what I like to see. <laughs> And if you guys would like to see more of this build, he will actually be at Lone Star Throwdown in Houston, Texas. Pretty sure it's this month, the 20th, something like that. Um, but he will be there driving from Florida. So if you guys see it, definitely stop by and check it out. Just to show you guys a little bit of the rock lights and how it looks, it's getting a little bit dark out here now. But looks badass for sure. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget, like, subscribe, turn the bell on for notifications. Wanted to bring some beautiful 7.3 content for you guys. I also will be in the Miami area shooting a pretty big Duramax, so stay tuned for that. 
much more to come. Also have been in contact with T King. We might have his second gen on the channel. So stay tuned, much more to come. Don't forget, like, subscribe, turn the bell for notifications, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Uh, M double low, get my damn flex on. Go on.